Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's live stream by the stream. We're inside today. It's a little bit cold. It is April 29th. Holy cow. Time flies by. But thank you guys for joining. Um, today, we're going to be doing the same thing. The 29th from Jesus is calling. And then Proverbs uh, 29. We'll read through that. Maybe have a bit of a discussion. Uh, but before we get started, uh, I'm just going to pray. AJC, awesome Jesus Christ. I pray that you can uh, guide today's afternoon devotional uh, by the stream, whether it's digital, physical, or uh, whatever, Lord. Uh, I pray that we can have chances to connect and feel connected to um, a larger community outside of just our homes today. Uh, that we can get a little bit closer to you, that you can give us something today that we can use throughout the day as uh, we focus our thoughts and our minds um, on, on you and in your heart for us. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. All right. Uh, so yeah, once again, welcome. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll get started with uh, Jesus is calling for the 29th. All right. Let me teach you thankfulness. Begin by acknowledging that everything, all your possessions, and all that you are belongs to me. The dawning of each new day is a gift from me, not to be taken for granted. The earth is vibrantly alive with my blessings giving vivid testimony to my presence. If you slow down your pace of life, you can find me everywhere. Some of my most precious children have been laid aside in sick beds or shut away in prisons. Others have voluntarily learned the discipline of spending time alone with me. The secret of being thankful is learning to see everything from my perspective. My world is your classroom. My world is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Three Bible verses uh, inspired that. Hi, Barbara. Um, so the first one is Hebrews 12, uh, 28 to 29. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and worship God acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Then Psalm 19.1, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the uh, fir firmament shows his handiwork. Said that word kind of messy, but... And then uh, Psalms 119, uh, 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Um, there's a lot of things to be said about this whole, uh, uh, sorry, got an itch, this whole physical and social distancing. One of the things that is for sure, it is a chance to slow down and uh, appreciate God's presence uh, in our lives to be able to shut out some of that stuff and, and unique opportunities to read focus on God and build in uh, to family for sure so um, you can also choose to ignore that still in this day and age why uh, I encourage and personally have been taking some breaks from social media and trying to not just distract myself to get through each day, but to find different ways of uh, appreciating each day. And part of that is going to be uh, doing something uh, physical as well. Um, I've started doing a, uh, uh, um, a web show. It's called Open Trails. It's going to be 
uh, a couple minutes um, of visiting the trails. Might do it, um, whatever that bike company is called, and just have my action camera at the front of my bike so that you can see the trail as biking through it and you can, you know, watch it on your screen and act like you're also going on the trail. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, might do something like that. If that's of interest, let me know. But uh, being physical can really help our mental health. And for me, uh, I know when I'm praying, uh, pacing, biking, uh, like especially on an exercise bike where I can be kind of a little bit more less aware of my surroundings and being able to focus uh, are things that help me uh, kind of do that. So uh, you know, uh, those can be really good things. We're going to be turning to a uh, proverb, or not proverb, yeah, uh, Psalm uh, 29 soon. Uh, so hopefully you guys have a chance to open that up. There is a reference to uh, the New Testament in there. Hi, Amber. Uh, congrats, Amber, on uh, graduating uh, or like passing uh, the semester. Um, that big old final exam that I had to give you, I'm sure uh, went a long way in that. <laughs> But um, oh, it was good. And thank you for uh, your service uh, through uh, most of the school year until this all went down. Um, and I'm glad that you passed. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's come back to uh, the Bible now. Um, Proverbs 29. Uh, hopefully you guys have uh, had a chance to open that up. Turn to Bible Gateway, use the Bible app. Uh, if you need a physical Bible, let me know. I'd be more than happy to uh, connect you with such. So without further ado, uh, Proverbs 29. Whoever stubbornly refuses to accept criticism will suddenly be destroyed beyond recovery. When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in power, they groan. The man who loves wisdom brings joy to his father. But if he hangs around with prostitutes, his wealth is wasted. A just king gives stability to his nation. But one who demands bribes destroys it. To flatter friends is to lay a trap for their feet. Evil people are trapped by sin, but righteous escape sharing for joy. The godly care about the rights of the poor. The wicked don't care at all. Mockers can get a whole town agitated, but the wise will calm anger. If a wise person takes a fool to court, there will be ranting and ridicule, but no satisfaction. The bloodthirsty hate blameless people, but the upright seek to help them. Fools vent their anger, but the wise quietly hold it back. If a ruler pays attention to liars, all his advisors will be wicked. The poor and the oppressed have this in common. The Lord gives sight to the eyes of both. If a king judges the poor fairly, his throne will last forever. To discipline a child produces wisdom, but a mother is disgraced by an undisciplined child. When the wicked are in authority, sin flourishes, but the godly will live to see their downfall. Discipline your children, and they will give you peace of mind, and will make your heart glad. When people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. But whoever obeys the law is joyful. Words alone will not discipline a servant. The words may be understood, but they are not heeded. There is more hope for a fool than for someone who speaks without thinking. A servant pampered from childhood will become a rebel. An angry person starts fights 
a hot-tempered person commits all kinds of sins. Pride ends in humiliation, while humility brings honor. If you assist the thief, you only hurt yourself. You are sworn to tell the truth, but you dare not testify. Fearing people is a dangerous trap, but trusting the Lord means safety. Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice comes from the Lord. The righteous despise the unjust. The wicked despise the godly. So uh, Proverbs twenty nine twenty three: pride ends in humiliation, while humility brings honor. Uh, Matthew 23, 12 refers back to that. Later, Jesus echoes this truth when he tells the Pharisees, those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Uh, once again, that was Proverbs 23, um, and is essentially quoted in Matthew 23, uh, 12. Um, yeah, today's uh, proverb... Um, I think if you're uh, a parent, you're going to get more out of Proverbs uh, 29. A lot of it is, one, don't feel guilty about discipline. Um, if you are in a position of authority and you need to lay out discipline, um, it can be difficult. Uh, there are times when I've had to discipline, um, you know, uh, at the door, whether that's with, like, youth or with, uh, like volunteers even um and there's times when i've had to be disciplined as well um and it sucks having to dish it out it really does it's not fun um it's not a power trip it's not this that or the other and you can feel really guilty uh if i have to ask someone to leave because of suspicion of you know being under the influence or what have you and there's a little bit of doubt that i do the right thing i don't know um and it can be challenging and it's not fun, but this is a good reminder uh, for those that are in authority that if you just, if you don't do it, you ignore it, you're actually opening it up and you're doing a disservice to the people that you care about. If you care about someone, this is just that extension and that, that further um, reaches with that whole, um, like a, a friend will tell you how it is to your face. They're not going to sneak around and tell behind your back and this is just like further examples on that and the dangers of not doing that and it's not just friends but it's also with people that you're in authority with but then in this scripture as well there was from that perspective again that's come up throughout all the proverbs about being in a position of not just leadership which is there but also in servanthood or in when you're under that authority and how to accept and and follow through with that discipline and sometimes it could be challenging uh hearing discipline taking it weighing it out choosing how to move forward can be difficult sometimes sometimes it's not words words sometimes aren't enough um and i that was one of those lines that kind of um uh, stood out to me um sometimes words are not enough sure the servant might understand it but they will not be heeded so sometimes there needs to be other consequences. Um, and in YFC, uh, on our trips and stuff, we have something called cruel and unusual punishment. It's a fun way to kind of do that. It's not just words, but there's actions. And we turn it into a bit of a dog and pony show, but it, it, it's fun. And it also, um, you know, hammers home uh, the rules and... Um, for me, it's a badge of honor if I don't make it on Cruel and Unusual Punishment. Uh, but there, I'm almost always on it. Because, <laughs> um, and then with the more serious things, there's like more serious consequences. Um, but yeah, I, there's that and in the discipline even though it can be difficult, one, to hand out, and two, to receive, to go back to the devotional as well, how can we see God in that action? 
all right, I've been doing this, I've been stepping in a line, how can God correct me? And at the end of the day, we are all kind of in, um, under the authority. We are all like, when we're Christians, we're, we're claiming that we are like the adoptive children of God. And as a loving father, there are times when just, how are we reacting, uh, to that discipline? That is not a question for me to answer right here, but that is a question to pass forward to you. And um, one of the things that's come up before in conversations for those that um, uh, might know a little bit more, something that seemed to strike a chord uh, a couple days ago was, oh, I didn't highlight it because I'm smart, was the whole... Um, I'm totally switching uh, things now for those that are like, what are you talking about? I'm going back a couple days about uh, the purification of uh, being praised. So 27, 21. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but a person is tested by being praised. Um... If you notice here in 29, I'm actually not switching completely, but um, in 29, when it talks about discipline and stuff like that, when it talks about receiving discipline, it's not saying that it's a test. The test is in being praised. A lot of times when we're going through hardship or we feel like God's disciplining us, we use the word like, oh, God's testing me. And we attribute a lot of these negative things as God's um, will and purification. And um, I don't know if that's true all the time, but it's how we handle sometimes the success and the praise, especially the praise of others, that it really challenges our heart. Are we being prideful about ourselves? Are we being prideful about this side or the other? Are are we appreciating being prideful in what God's doing? Sometimes discipline isn't a test, but it's a corrective measure, a, a refocusing. And a refocusing isn't necessarily a test. It might be challenging. Getting discipline is hard, but it's not a, the test. I think um, for a lot of us in Canada, and in our context, the testing is more from 27, uh, 21. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but a person is tested by being praised. No, oh, that's just one of my extra thoughts. And that seemed to spark a lot of conversation um, outside of just this live stream here. So um, I thought I'd bring it up again. And especially because there was that a uh, little bit of contrast that I noticed. Um, but yeah, if you guys have anything that you would like me to pray for, pray over you, you have questions about what we read today or any other day, uh, please contact me, private message me. Um, I enjoy having, uh, these God conversations. Um, once again, I'm going to be plugging the YU chat and I had a big meeting today. Um, there's Minecraft servers, there's, uh, like an art group that's meeting, there's, um, Netflix movie nights. There's a lot of ways to connect and do a lot of what you're already doing in community during this time of physical distancing. Um, so uh, that's all got, kind of getting put together. Pay attention to uh, my Facebook page, uh, the Instagram page, and I'm going to be linking out to that for, uh, for uh, everyone that comes to the door to be able to do and for those that um, are aged out of our activities, I share it with uh, with teens that you think might be intrigued and tempted yeah. to join. Um, yeah. So on that note, uh, I actually just got a message from someone asking when the door is going to be open again. And right now, uh, really, I don't know. Uh, it's there's a lot of uncertainty with what each day is going to bring 
Uh, so far, we've had 45 new deaths in uh, Canada. And yes, there are signs that things are slowing down, that that curve has been flattened. But we don't know. We're kind of at the mercy of the law. And then once the law tells us to open, uh, there's that question of then should we open or should we give it a little bit more time? I don't know. Those questions right now are a little bit um, above my head, but we are finding ways of connecting and trying to make the most out of the opportunity that we have before us today. And yeah, it can be challenging, um, but, uh, you know, yeah, it can be challenging, but we are finding ways. Why You Chat is a great resource, uh, whyyouchat.ca. Um, if you're not a gamer uh, or not technically savvy, I can see this time being just extra challenging. Um, but pray, phone call, text. Um, there's a lot of ways of connecting, especially those that are viewing this. You have a bit of tech savviness, so uh, but feel free to drop me a message. Uh, but yeah, um, without further ado, let's get to with the praying. So A J C, awesome. Jesus Christ, um, I thank you so much that yet yeah, we can connect in in this way. Um, when the tests come of uh, praise and adoration, may we find ways of giving that honor to you. Into even when the praises come to 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 take less of ourselves and more of you. And there's that great song, like "What If I Stumble" uh, by DC Talk, that just kind of came into my mind and. It's an echo of that struggle of that pride and success and uh, focus on you. And, um, you know, it's nice to know that we're not the only ones that are dealing with that. Um, and when you are bringing correction and guidance, may we be able to accept and follow the path that you're guiding us towards. Um, for... And in these moments, may we find opportunities and times not just to connect with each other, but to connect with you as things have quieted down. Whether that's waking up in the morning and sitting outside or under the stars at night and having a lot less traffic. Or it's around the dinner table and just going like, I don't have to leave. And for those that are still working, uh, still going out to their jobs, um, I pray that they can still find time to connect with you. Uh, a lot of stores are closing earlier. Uh, the hospitals and nurses and stuff like that is overworked as they have been doing are still finding ways of serving and connecting. And I thank you for that, Lord. I thank you that we have been able to start flattening that curve and and we're starting to see sunlight at the end of the tunnel. But help us know, give us wisdom, guidance, and knowledge, especially for our political leaders, on how to step out of this physical distancing cave and into the light. And as we ease back into normal life in a month, two months, however long it takes, a year, um, I pray that you can give us wisdom and guidance and knowledge for how to do it in a healthy respectful way where we're not risking the lives of those around us uh, and yeah um, I thank you Lord for all the ways that you encourage me encourage us and may we continue to walk and be aware of your presence in our lives and uh yeah, thank you very much. Anyway. All right. Well, thank you guys uh, very much for joining me today um, by the stream as I live stream. Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys have a great day. I love hearing what you're grateful for, so please leave a comment down below. If you hit the like button, I can see that you are here afterwards when I, I try to pray for everyone later on in the day. Um, as individually by your name. There's a lot of people that 
watch that I might not actually, yeah, I know it's a really bad pun, uh, <laughs> as uh, I go through it later on. Um, and I, I'd love to pray for you. If there's something specific uh, that I can pray for, I would love to do so. So thank you very, very much. Uh, and yeah, um, one of the big things I asked for you today, though, uh, that you can do is spread the word on yuchat.ca um, for the kids that just need someone to talk to, that are bored, um, that need somebody. Right now, all of the, the, the Highlands Youth Unlimited, Youth Highlands Youth for Christ <laughs> staff, I don't know, um, we're shortening it to y Highlands YU, I think, or Youth Unlimited Highlands. I don't remember what we're shortening it to. Um, that's live stream. I can't edit that out now. Um, but yeah, uh, yuchat.ca. Uh, all of our staff are on it. We have a, vi a phone and a text thing. And um, right now, that's probably one of the, the big new things that we've been doing. So. Um, get the word out there. Somebody is going to need it, and uh, it's. I'm happy that it is there. Um, and yeah. So once again, thank you guys very much. Um, and hi, Darren. Uh, enjoy the rest of your guys' day, and hopefully this can uh, help uh, the rest of your day be focused as you're aware on how God's uh, with you today and yeah good day and god bless i can never hit the finish button so yeah no i'm trying to hit the finish button <laughs>